we all know what these boxes are by now. <laughs> Every time one of these rocks up at the doorstep, I know exactly what it's going to be. Not a bloody pink skyline. Anyway, I will drop the fact I'm still salty over that soon. Um, so this, I've conveniently half opened it already, so I didn't have to cover the labels. Effort. This, I have uh, been waiting for for a little bit of time now. And I must say, I'm very excited to find out how this actually works. Now, you've all seen the uh, thumbnail, so you all know it's the 1975 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Uh, so this is the outer box. This one we got kind of a, uh, we got the white with the uh, green on the box there and the lovely, uh, wonderful font. Yes, Hot Wheels Collectors, I did also, I did also do the tape. There we go. It was just hanging on there a bit. So we can open it up. And here is the main box. So here it is, the Monte Carlo. Looking very nice with the logo there. Oh, we get some details on the box. Let's have a quick read. The Lowrider is one of the most prolific styles of car due to their colourful paint jobs and hydraulic suspensions. Originating in Southern California, these unique rides quickly became a fan favourite. The 1975 Chevy Monte Carlo became a converted car in the lowrider community, and this model proudly represents it. Spectre flame antifreeze paint, pinstripes and custom patterns run smooth along the flared fender and quarter panels. The interior colours match the exterior with an addition of four woofers that drive the... <laughs> woofers. I don't know why that made me laugh. That drivers would blast while cruising down the coastal highway. An articulated suspension allows for adjustable stance from the high to the low and even drop to a free wheeled motion. A customized license plate that reads that reads Wested or West Side for an extra nod to its origins. Very awesome. Uh, there's some gubbins on the back. So, anyway, with that we shall slide out the car. Ooh, this one's a slightly different packaging. Oh, there it is. Oh. Nice. So, uh, my packet's a bit scuffed up, but that's all right. So, the car is seated in here. There's a bit of plastic we can uh, remove. There we go. Oh, that looks much better already about that uh, scuffed up plastic in the way. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's uh, sneakily get it out. I only bought the one of these because, well, quite frankly, they come in a box that you can undo and put back away. Why on earth people need to buy so many of these, I don't know. Look at that. It all slides away and you have a nice box to store it in. Love it. Let's zoom down on the car now. So, oh, this looks awesome. That is a very nice colour. I think they called it Spectra Flame Antifreeze, did they? Very, very bright. Sort of greeny yellow colour. With the uh, awesome pinstriping down there, that looks awesome. Wow, that is really nice. Does it have... No, no opening doors or anything. Let's try and see a bit of the interior. It's kind of got a green interior with the uh, white steering wheel. And you can see the uh, subwoofers through the back screen there as well. That's pretty cool. Shame we can't see much more into the interior than that. But that's pretty nice. Got your front light details and all that. Let's have a quick... Wow. This lens is shite compared to the other one. <laughs> What are you focusing on, camera? What the f are you focusing on? I'm gonna try and get us a nice look at that license plate when the camera actually behaves. Uh, right, try and get you a look at that plate, but it's so tiny. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Hopefully you'll be able to read that there. And you get your real light details and your badges as well. That is pretty awesome indeed. Sorry about all that faffing about. Hopefully the camera will continue to behave now. So, these wheels are mint actually. They look real nice. So this was the thing. Let's have a look at the base. And this looks pretty, uh, pretty busy. So there's all your gubbins. And this is what I've always wondered. So you can actually adjust the suspension up and down. Wow, that's pretty awesome actually. So you can adjust it up and down, but I've always wondered how they've actually managed to do that. <laughs> looks a, it's broken. That does look a bit odd. <laughs> it does look a bit odd. I don't actually know how extreme uh, these can go in real life. I mean, I've seen some videos of them bouncing around and seen it in the video games where you bounce them around down the road. 
Um, surely they must get some breakages. I've seen some videos where they really are bouncing. They surely must, um, well, I've seen videos of them breaking. I don't know, as I said, how much you can uh, do this in the real world, how far they can extend. Obviously, you have all the suspension stuff here. I, I don't know. I don't know how they work in the real world, actually. I've never seen it. Um, my car has hydraulics, but not, not this sort of hydraulics. Not for bouncing, more for cruising and making the road feel smooth. So, yeah, I mean... Oh! So they've just got a little, like, ball point in there. Oh! Oh, that's bloody clever. That's really simple. I did wonder if it was just going to be simple. I've always, I saw these and always wondered how they did all the suspension components. It is literally just all the sort of one bit of plastic here with all your suspension detail that just connects on like a little ballpoint into the car base. Oh, can you actually unscrew it as well? Is that, does that middle piece hold it all in with the anti-tamper triangular screw? I know I've got something that will do that somewhere. Uh, yeah, looks like that's all that is. And then that just can twist side to side. Like that, as well as go up and down like that. That's, that's really clever, yet really simple. I like that. Ah, well, now I know. There we go. It's freewheeling now. That's so simple. Love it. Yeah, no, I like that. That's really cool. Now we can make it bounce. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> it's not a toy. Mattel say that themselves. Yeah, so I should stop playing with it like one. That is really, really nice. And I've got to say, that looks awesome in that colour scheme. I've never been a huge lowrider fan, I'll admit. Um, I mean, it's not the worst. Uh, not the worst. It could be, a, it's a lot worse. Uh, the lowrider's better than like the donks and all that weird stuff, but and the hydraulics, I think, are a bit strange, a bit OTT. But, you know, each to their own. It's still pretty cool. Um, it's definitely a unique modification. So, yeah. <laughs> how can I, how do I make it sit with like one wheel in the air? Well, there we have it. I've always been curious about them and my uh, curiosity has been fulfilled. Really simple, but really effective. I love that, that's pretty awesome. The car is really, really cool. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Let me know down below in the comments. And while you're there, drop a like and all that amazing stuff. Please be sure to subscribe for more. Got some awesome Redline Club stuff on, hopefully on the way soon. Hopefully they actually send the pink skyline. I'm sure on that one, let's drop that for now. But yeah, as always, good luck in your peg hunts and with your Redline Club purchases. And I hope to see you again in the next video. <laughs> that made a weird noise. I've probably scuffed it now. Oh no.